conduct, and to all other policies and procedures of Morgan State University, so help me God. Congratulations to all of our student leaders in this Congratulations. New members of the Student Government Association were sworn in for the 2016-2017 academic school year under the Dream Team administration. Joy Jolene Griffin and Adif Bracey led the rest of the SGA and Royal Court in the Bear Cave Lounge City inauguration on Tuesday as Dr. David Wilson left encouraging remarks to the new administration. If you want to invoke the words of Lansing Hughes, the way he spoke about dreams, because that's, that's rushing anyway. Leadership and you need a very, very wrong parents. And you need to always have those dreams in front of you so you never ever lose a sense of your purpose and why you have been placed in those positions in the first place. So Langston Hughes said something like this. He said, hold fast to dreams. Or when dreams die, life is like a broken wing bird that cannot live. Oh. He said, hold fast to those dreams, for when dreams go, life is like a barren field covered with snow. Dr. David Wilson began to swear in the SGA leaders, starting with SGA President Griffin. A Morgan State University Student Government Association for the 2016-17 academic year. Moreover, I pledge that I will adhere fully to the Constitution of the Student Government Association, Code of Student Conduct, and to all other policies and procedures of Morgan State University. So help me God. Congratulations, Ms. Griffin. Before the ceremony came to an end, Griffin and Bracey addressed the SGA and the rest of the student body on issues that we face on our campus. We use our position to speak on behalf of the school. We have the capability of leaving what's unfair. We have to fight and demand for generations of men to do something different. Where are students supposed to eat when the kids are Needless to say, the Dream Team is the administration to watch and to make every Morgan State student's dream come true. I'm Tremon Lucas reporting for the MSU Spokesman.